Now with more of that ABC News exclusive, Diane Sawyer's one on one interview with Ben Affleck. He is opening up about his personal struggles with addiction and depression and now this morning sharing more on how he's moving forward with his family and with the help of a few famous friends. Diane is here with more on this. It has been amazing to see him open up like this. It has and so many people have come up to me to say they want to thank him for being one of this new age of Hollywood leading men who are talking about recovery as their strength and helping other people. But it just goes to show you never know what's ahead when you look up and see a new kid on the block. There he was more than 20 years ago, a new face lighting up Hollywood. Ben Affleck and his childhood buddy Matt Damon had written a little movie called Good Will Hunting and it won the Oscar. And the Oscar goes to Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. On stage, they were still just two guys from Boston in disbelief. Uh, uh, Chris Moore produced Chris the Moore. movie. Thank you so much, the city of Boston. Whoever we forgot, we love you. Thank you so much. But it didn't take long for Affleck to become a certified star. And in person, so well read, so mischievous. In my first interview, he does an improv of Bill Clinton. You get a feeling that he might just take you by the hand. So, well, Diane, you know. We've got the biggest uh, surplus in American history. We created 22 million new jobs. And he just, he does, he feels your pain. A little town called Hope. And today, at 47, he's always ready to make fun of himself. On the cover of all those magazines as a superhero and a Hollywood heartthrob. And now, he's single again. Looking back in our... 25 years mm -hmm. doing interviews. What have you learned about yourself and women? And what? Women. Oh my God. <clears throat> he reported he had used a dating app, Raya. Wait a minute, what is the website? Raya. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am not on any websites. I have you've, no oh, you've songs. left? You, have, not, no, you no, have evacuated the I premises. I am on no dating, <laughs> I'm not Tinder, Grinder, <laughs> Grinder, Brinder, Grunder, bum. Uh, bumble, humble. Uh, I, I am not on any of them. I do not. Uh, I don't have any judgment about people who are great. I know people who are on them. They have a fun time, and that's. But uh, not me. I would love to have, uh, you know, uh, a, a relationship that was deeply meaningful and one to which I could be deeply committed. So, what's the question you would ask you right now? Gosh, that, now that's a question I didn't expect. I guess I would ask myself. <clears throat> you know, uh, what do you want? You know, the, the rest, the next, maybe I got 40 more years. You know, what, what do you want that to look like? Which brings us back to what he told us yesterday about alcohol and the powerful genetic hold of addiction on so many in his family, including his dad. He says with sobriety, he can now understand more about the anxieties and the depression that have haunted him since the age of 26. I get depressed, I take antidepressants. They're very helpful for me. I've, I've taken them since I was 26 years old, various different kinds. I've switched and tried this and tried that. Sometimes they won't tell you about some awful side effect. Then you'll come back and say, why am I 60 pounds heavier? And they go, oh, well, you put on a little weight. You know? <laughs> they go, oh, well, thanks. And he also tells me now, with sobriety, he has a new appreciation of a healthy day. He likes discipline, routine, starting with the gym in the morning, then work. He has just written a new screenplay with Matt Damon. But he says far and away the most important part of his life is the time he spends with his children. He shares parenting duties with his ex-wife, Jennifer Garner. Uh, if it was one of my days with the kids, pick him up at three and we Usually they have soccer or a swim meet or, you know, enough stuff that you, your, your time is mostly taken up as chauffeur. I'd like to find some sort of sense of meaning and purpose, you know. Uh, I was not raised religious. I don't, I'm not a, a very good uh, Christian, although I go to church uh, with my kids uh, because it was important to Jennifer and, and now I go too and I like it quite a bit. Inside every ordinary moment, the extraordinary gift very, of another chance. Time. Do you ever say to yourself, maybe, maybe I can, re I can go back. We can go back and reset time, and have that family <sighs> intact again. Uh, you know, there are things that I would love to go back and change. Uh, I have regrets. 
I, you know, I, there, I made plenty of mistakes, some big, some small. I wish I could go back time and change all kinds of things, but I can't. So. But what he can do now is join that new breed of Hollywood leading men. Brad Pitt, Bradley Cooper. I got sober because of this guy, and every day has been happier ever since. Robert Downey. Robert Downey. And, you know, guys like I found, you know, like Bradley and, and, and um, you know, Robert have been really helpful to me uh, and, and really supportive, and they're wonderful men. And now he's using what he's learned to tell really stories like the one in his new movie, The Way Back. He plays a coach, a former athletic star struggling with alcohol, who teaches a team of underdogs to believe in themselves. So here we are, two interviews 20 years apart. On the left, the boy Wonder. On the right, the 47-year-old man looking at the new path ahead. Five years from now, you want people to say Ben Affleck is... Five years from now, Ben Affleck is sober and happy and sees his kids three and a half days a week and has made three or four movies that are interesting to him, probably directed to that he's uh, hopefully proud of and is in a healthy, stable, loving, committed um, relationship. See you in five years. It's been five years. I really set myself up for that one, didn't I? You better make it now. And there he is. You know, he says one of the things that he believes is for him, he's been reading a lot, uh, is that you plan your day around what gives you joy and what gives others joy and not around the negative of regret, because he's, regret will be the thief of your time and your hope. He really answered his own question there. He knows exactly what he wants. Yeah, the next that's few true, years. that's true, he had it. Oh, and by the way, I wanna tell you about all those kids who were in the movie and he adores them and thinks they're so good. He went up to them and, and asked, what can I give you? For what you did on this film, and he he wanted something. Thought it would be spiritual and moving and important and purposeful. And they said, "Can you take us to Las Vegas?" <laughs> <laughs> he, you know, I don't know if they've gone yet, but he goes, "Okay, I'm going to Las Vegas." <laughs> so. But it's crazy. So he's doing all these things that give him joy. But mm -hmm. but watching him and knowing what he's come through and to sit down with you and open up like that is going to give a lot of people hope. Yeah. Oh, it has already. I I do believe it has already. And he's the first to say, I don't have the answers, but, but every person's journey is a reminder that you can do what you need and want to do in your life. That's the truth. And how remarkable he has that community there coming forward to lift him through yes. this. Yeah. You're going to have more tonight on Nightline. You're not done yet. And <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> you're like, wait, do I? <laughs> Here? <laughs> and the movie Way Back hits theaters on March 6th. It's going to be a good one. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.